I want to deal with the with a subject entitled God keeps his word. God keeps his word. All right, in Joshua chapter 23, verse 14, we read the following. Behold, this day I'm going, uh, I'm going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. Not one thing has failed concerning the promises over you. All have come to pass and not one word of them has failed. I want to just tell you right now, God is wanting to fulfill everything on our life. But let's be honest. There are many of us that never see the fulfillment of what God promised over our lives. And so you say, God, but you failed. How did you not do this? Let me tell you something. It's not God who fails. It's us. The Bible says you don't have anything because you're not asking. And when you ask, you ask amiss. Remember this, that God wants to do everything for us on condition. Two things. One, that we come in faith. And number two, that we actually ask him. That we actually ask him to do something in our lives. A lot of Christians are just assuming that God's just going to do something. You know that there are people that have got prophetic words and they just assume that prophetic words is going to happen. No, it's not. And what happens is some people have been trained, take the prophetic word and put it on the shelf and wait for it to happen. That's also not godly. The Bible says fight. Paul tells Timothy, fight the good warfare of faith with the prophetic word that was given you. So in other words, even if you don't see it, you've got to call it in and say, God, I thank you. I call on you. You promised this. I'm going to expect this from you. And if you don't expect anything from God, you're never going to get your fulfillment. Now, what was nice about Joshua's day is these guys sought God all the time. They were seeking God and they saying, God, you promised we are going to take this land. We are going to overcome these giants. We are going to sit down and have victory. As they sought God continually, God never dropped them once. And so many Christians have come to me and said, God promised me this and it didn't happen. Well, did you ever push in with it? Did you ask God for it? Did you believe God? Did you take and do warfare with your prophetic words and promises? God's word is full of promises. Each one of them is a prophetic word for you. You need to stand and say, I'm fighting for this thing. I'm not going to let you go until we are blessed. I want to tell you like uh, today, I've had to do that countless times in my life. Countless times where we've had to sit down and say, God, you promised this thing. We are going to seek you. We are going to believe God for every prophetic word that you've said over our lives. We are not going to stay down in the gutters. And God has raised us up because we have asked him. We have sought him and taken him on his word. And the same happens with everything. Healing. God's word says that you can be healed. Take him on on that. All right. God says that if you tithe, he's going to protect your finances. Take him on. He says that you can test him on that. And so we need to understand that God is expecting us to stand up and fight. God is not expecting us just to sit back and just everything just happens. It doesn't just happen in the kingdom of God. God can promise you something unless you stand up and go get it and do something. You will never have it. And then you're going to turn around and say, God, you did not come through for me. God came through for you. The condition was you had to come and collect it. God has come through for you way before you were even born or conceived. He's already made a way for you. He's made the promises available to you. The minute you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, you have an inheritance. Most of us walk around like saying, oh, I don't get anything. I don't have anything. And guess what? We do it in our own strength, thinking that we're going to make this thing happen. You're never going to get this thing right. Are there times when I've tried to do it in my own strength? Yes, I'm human. You know, sometimes Janine will come to me and say, have you even prayed about it? And I go, mm. and you know, let me be honest with you. Sometimes you're in the heat of the moment. You don't even think of taking it before the Lord. Then you've got to go before God and God, I'm sorry. And then you go into battle mode and you go, God, it's me and you and this promise. I'm telling you right now, this is for all of us. And we need to know that God doesn't want a single promise 
to be unfulfilled in our lives. We should be walking in victory. We should be walking in liberty. We should be carrying the power, the authority of Jesus Christ, knowing that we do and shifting things around us in the name of Jesus. Saints, we are not weak. We just need to be activated in Jesus' name. And so this morning, I want to challenge us with everything that is inside of us. Know that God keeps his word. But we have a responsibility to activate that word. We have a responsibility to go before God in faith and call on that word and ask him. And don't ask him, miss. Ask spot on. And how do you know you're asking spot on? Ask according to the word. What does the Bible say? And go, God, I'm calling on this scripture. I thank you, Lord, that you promised this and I'm standing on this and I'm going to see this thing happen in my life. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. The physical and emotional healing has been paid for for you and I. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The blood of Christ was shed for your salvation, protection and provision. And this morning, let's pray and let's celebrate the fact that everything has been settled for us. God's promises are going to be fulfilled if we meet the criteria of pushing in. Lord, I ask you right now to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, attitude, motive, intent, action. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us. Wash us white as snow. Lord, I ask you right now that you're going to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose. And Lord, let us realize that you have made provision for us. We thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross and making a way that all the promises are there for us and everything is available for us. Lord, we repent for doing it in our own strength. Lord, we repent for not coming and calling on your name and asking you to move in our situation. But God, I thank you right now that we are going to change and Lord, that we are going to push in by faith and Lord, hold your word accountable. And Lord, we thank you that your word will never return to your void. And everything you sent it out to do will be accomplished. Just like Joshua, Lord, that everything that was promised was done. Lord, I thank you. Everything that has been promised to us will be done in Jesus' mighty name. And Jesus, we thank you for the price that you paid in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for divine healing. We command every single symptom in our body to go in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, that we are healed from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. Lord, we thank you that every symptom is gone because of the stripes of Jesus. Lord, by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, right now we declare and call on divine health. We thank you, Lord, that we are healthy and we are well in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, you need to push in for your healing. You need to push in for your deliverance. You need to push in for your families. Whatever God has promised you, you push in for it and say, God, I'm not letting you go until I see the miracle in Jesus' name. Saints, I want to bless you. I want to thank you. You guys are amazing. Because I am already seeing how you're spreading the video that's going around. Let me tell you something. <coughs> Sorry, I can't. And I'll say this again. But I can't give the details of everything that is going on in our nation always. Please trust me when I say this is urgent. I'm going to ask you please to take those videos and get it to any form of leadership. All right. Any pastor, any church movement, any prayer group, any um, network. Please get it to them. Ask them to contact me directly. All right. My number is there. I will discuss the detail of what is going on. Okay. So that they understand how severe this is. But if we stand together and we believe God, we are going to reverse everything that Satan has tried. Look what's happening with the COVID virus. The nations are having all sorts of crises. 
But there is something that they cannot explain why South Africa without vaccines, why South Africa is dissipating at the rate it is. They have no idea. I'll tell you what it is. It is the church of Jesus Christ praying. It is the church of Jesus Christ saying, we are going to stand, we are going to fight, and we're going to see this thing through in Jesus' name. I want to tell you right now, saints, I commend you for standing together. Whichever church you are, whichever group you are, I want to say this is not about a group, this is not about a flow. This is about the believers of Jesus Christ standing together. And so I want to encourage you, please, get the word out as far as possible. Let's get this across the nation. Let's get people praying. 696. All right. So that we can create a spiritual covering over our nation and bless our nation. And so today we're going to be putting up the video onto Facebook. I'm going to please ask you to go and share that in all your feeds. Put it on your storyline. Put it on your feed. Share that video so that we can get it across the nation as fast as possible. The faster we get this mobilized and activated, the better it is for our nation in Jesus' name. But we are doing this biblically, and we are going to do it according to God's word, and we are going to see the power of God being made manifest in this nation. And so I want to bless you. I want to thank you for standing in the gap and fighting for your town and, and uh, city, as well as for our nation. When we release peace, and when we release the Prince of Peace into a situation, things have to change according to God's word. And I see this already in the COVID situation. I'm believing God with all my heart. I'm standing on the word. And I'm saying this virus is an attack. It will not grip our nation in Jesus' name. All right, I'm getting more and more reports of hospitals that are now getting zero patients. Man, it's amazing. I want to celebrate when the entire province has zero cases. I want to show you something. We prayed and we sought God and we've been standing together right through the Easter weekend where everybody says it's going to spike and go mad. I want to tell you, it has supernaturally dropped since the Easter weekend. In one day, 200 cases less in Cape Town, in the province, uh, in Cape Town area. 200 cases in one day just fell off the I fell out. I want to tell you right now, the, the anointing, the power of God is greater than anything that's coming. So saints, I want to commend you. Thank you very much for reporting for duty. Thank you very much for standing together. We are in this thing together and we are fighting for our nation and we are going to raise the standard in Jesus' name. So before I pray, I've got one more announcement. Please, I'm going to ask you, no matter what church you are, I know that normally on Sunday nights, it's just for Father's Heart Digital Church. But I want to show you what God is doing, okay, with the digital church across the nation right now. I'm going to show you some visuals. And I want you, please, if you can, to go and watch the feed for Sunday night. Sunday night, I'm going to release the next, next strategy of what God wants us to do across the nation. Not for the nation now, this is for the digital church. But I want you to see what God is actually doing already. I want you to visually see what God is busy doing. And we're going to show you some slides and we're going to show you the impact of what God is busy with already. I was so blessed over this Easter weekend that more than 500 people gave their hearts to the Lord that I know that sent me a message. I want to tell you right now, God is busy. God is doing something in our nation. Don't let anybody tell you that nothing's happening. God is raising up the body of Christ and he's going to do something miraculous for us. <laughs> Excuse me, in Jesus' name. So let's pray. We're going to pray over our nation, over the businesses today. Lord, I thank you right now in Jesus' name that we can pray over the businesses in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray your blessing over every sector, over every business. We thank you, Lord, for every person who is raising altars. Lord, we thank you that as they raise altars, they are restricting the demonic around them. Lord, I thank you right now for a supernatural move in our businesses and in our, in our sectors. Lord, I pray for our economy that is going to be blessed and the power of God is going to be seen right across our nation. Lord, I pray right now 
that we will understand the power of the church. And when we stand in unity, Lord, I pray that we will get a revelation. And Lord, I pray for the prayer sessions for 6, 9 and 6. When we stand together in unity, you will release and command a blessing. Lord, I thank you that this is going to bring about a miraculous change in our nation. Father, we thank you for your blessing over each and every believer. I pray right now that you're going to bring us to the place of destiny and purpose. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray over this virus. I command it to die and to dissipate and to leave our nation. Father, I thank you that we have been faithful as believers. And Lord, we release life. We release blessing. We come against any speak. Any inclination of a third wave, we rebuke it, we bind it, and command it not to exist. And Lord, I pray that as we stand in agreement, that COVID will be eradicated and leave our nation once and for all. Father, we release zero COVID patients in our hospitals. We thank you, Lord, that our nation is free of COVID. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for any person that isn't affected. I pray for a supernatural restoration. Lord, I thank you right now. That there will not be a third wave. And that every single person who is sick right now. Be healed in Jesus name. Supernaturally. We release life. We release blessing over our nation. In Jesus mighty name. And everybody said. Amen and amen. Saints, I want to bless you. I want to tell you that it's Friday. Friday means what? Revelation night. All right. I want to encourage you. Um, we are now starting with the letters. It is really, 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 really very important. All right. People always choke when I say very, 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 very important. It is very important that you start watching from these sessions. Because... These are the sessions that affect the church directly. All right. We're going to start dealing now with chapter two and the letters. And I want you please to just watch seven o'clock tonight, book of Revelation. And please, as I said before, pass it out, get the word out there. And please, I want to just ask you, if you haven't liked our page, please like this page and like these, uh, share these feeds. All right, it helps us get the word out across the nation very quickly, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get into our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have increased and great victories. I have recognition, I have prominence, I have petitions granted, I have policies and rules changed, I have battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. 